Ah, well, damn it. We were rolling so well, too, guys. Had 250 people watching. And my damn camera lost us. Went out on me again. I need to get me a new webcam going. Because that's just unfortunate and inconvenient. All right, give me a second, guys. I'm about to take a leak. Be right back. Oh, my God, my back. I'm gonna whoop Michael's ass. I don't wanna whoop Michael's. Oh, I want to. I, I'm not gonna say I'm going to because he might try to say, Johnny's threatening me. Oh, Michael's gonna whoop Michael's ass. Michael's gonna whoop Michael's ass. Michael's gonna whoop Michael's ass. Oh, is that my city? Yep. Oh, you're raining. All right, the camera's still here. Good deal. All right. Grab me another, another bang, man. Need me another. Need to add it on right here because, guys, we are just getting started. Where we thought it was had been crazy, it's getting crazier. Kevin Zerfus, what's up, K-Boss? How you doing, man? What do you think of this shit right here, man? They got a chance to rebuild, rekindle, uh, 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 make things right. And people don't have these opportunities that often in life. You know what I mean? When you, when you, when you come across these uh, chances, you take them. You try to make the most of them. That, that you make the most out of these opportunities and chances and opportunities that you, that you can, you know. And... You see Michael and Bridget here once again making the most pretty much for themselves, man. And, um, and man, I don't know, dude. Manipulation of, of family, friends, fucking, oh my God. It's, it's, it's crazy how long this has been going on. And to see it still playing out like this, dude. Like, so apparently Doug went back to talk to him. They had a certain amount that they put on for video. Then they were going to have a private conversation in which uh, it wasn't so very private. And they basically just continued to argue about just like meaningless, petty shit. You know, like, like, honestly, like. If you can't get over that little small shit, man, like then you're really not trying to overcome anything. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. First off, it can't be a it can't be a one sided thing. You know what I mean? Like, like nothing has ever been solved. You know what I mean? From damn two sides coming together for just one side making all the uh, 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 the agreements. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. Let's see here. Either a lack, a lack of information coming from you or information that came from you. I don't know what information I gave. 
because when she was pregnant, when you were saying that she was pregnant, and if I called her and asked, I got no, she's not. From That's not true. Why would she say she wasn't? Oh man! So before he tries, Doug, this is a. He's talking to this guy on the phone, and he goes him. He see. Oh, another ad. Brandy Renee says, "Uh, Doug needs to just let it be." Because while we're talking to him, he started. All they want to do is embarrass him. Nowhere to live, and pretty much no money. So no, see. That is not. That is not. That, that this is not their intention to uh, to fully embarrass Doug right now. Okay, no, nah, they want Doug for something. Okay, they are intending to use Doug in the videos and to more than likely to attack me, to recant his uh, 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 statements and his admittance that he lied. Whenever he said that he was there that night and he saw me hit Bridget, he told you all that he lied. Michael told him to lie and that he went with it. That was the very first thing that Doug ever came out about. How funny was that, huh? When finally the butting of the heads and they were like, Dougie, if you don't, we're going to, you know, we're going to do this to you. And then Dougie was like, well, I'll just tell them that Charlie didn't hit Bridget. The very first thing. And Dougie didn't even go to the internet with that. Dougie said it to them in a private DM to which Michael screenshotted and then posted on Twitter talking about, Dougie's trying to blackmail me. <clears throat> so they want Dougie. To go back on there and say, no, yeah, Charlie actually did. Blah, 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 blah. To which everybody knows is bullshit. Because like I say, what kind of man would Dougie, what kind of man would Michael be? Michael's ready to whoop Dougie's ass for calling Bridget fat. You think Michael wouldn't have fucking damn just snapped and lost it and blacked the fuck out and jumped on me if he watched me punch his girlfriend in the face? The Well, I was going to say the mother to his children, but they didn't have kids then. Do you think Dougie would have actually sat right back there and watched me just pop his damn daughter in the face? Two grown-ass men. And Dougie even admitted, he's like, no, it didn't happen. They lied on Charlie. Dougie apologized to me, you know, in the car, you know, uh, whenever uh, we were going to go to, whenever we, he picked me up that morning of Grandpa's uh, memorial, you know, we had our talk, you know, and he apologized and, 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 and I accepted and we squashed it, you know, and Dougie has been nothing but kind and and honest and open ever since well with me anyway you know he's always stood you know stood behind stood behind you know his truth and i appreciated it for it you know and and it's put him under the gun for all these years you know if doug if doug would have said charlie did hit bridget you know what i mean six months ago a year ago two years ago shit would be so much different right now he'd be back in the family you know seeing his grandkids and shit but He'd have to play Michael's game 100%. You know what I mean? And I just don't see that happening with Doug. David, what's up? David James in the house. Well, how you doing tonight, buddy? I feel like I'm getting cold right now. I'm about to have to put on a jacket or something. <sighs> Let me put on a jacket real quick. I mean, am I right or what? What do y'all think? Sorry, I just showed y'all my underwear. Apologize for that. <clears throat> because. Oh, shit. <clears throat> because Michael and Bridget have been. Um, embarrassing Doug and making him look bad like a liar and this, that, and a third 
for years, and they haven't had to bring him into the videos to do so. You know, so I, I honestly feel like there's more at play here uh, than just a quick couple of videos confronting Doug. You know, how many times has Michael said, you know, if you would just admit things would be different if you would get to see your daughter. You know, he keeps dangling that fucking carrot in front of the old man. You know, reminding him, like, hey, this is what this is about. This is what this is about, you know. And uh, he, he's, he, you know, he wants Doug to crack on camera, too, mind you. <sighs> and it's sad. <clears throat> like, I was... I was I was hoping for something better. I was hoping for something, you know, realer, you know, um, um, something healthier. Honestly, because this ain't going nowhere. That this ain't that ain't going nowhere. It ain't going nowhere good. You know, they're treating Doug just like they treated Tuna. You know, when Tuna came back and apologized and and uh, uh, knelt before Michael's feet. You know what I mean? Like, like there was no real healing. There was no real reconnection. You know what I mean? They they made her take her fucking leg off and hop up the stairs and, and you know, act like a freaking fool. You know, and then threw her back into the trailer park. Look at her. She ain't got shit. She's still fucking, you know, just talking shit and spinning shit up and trying to work up whoever she can for a couple of dollars for a pack of cigarettes on her damn uh, PayPal or wherever the fuck they use. Dominic pray. Dominic says, uh, tell Charlie, keep watching. There's more. All right. Get in my hotel. And I thought it was a good idea. Yeah. Right? Like, the guy needs a place to live. Yeah, and if things are like, if he's trying to squash it, and he's like, hey, I'm sorry, I was really wrong. I've still got a heart. The guy apologized to Bridget. Gals, you like this jacket, huh? She's he, did. he had tears in his eyes. I believed him. Thanks, man. Yeah. I appreciate he that. He said he was sorry for everything that he's ever done to her. He said that he was sorry for the lies. He told me he was sorry for the stuff that he said about my father. And I felt moved. Yeah, and he even apologized for all the stuff he said about you. He apologized. And honestly, I didn't need the apology, but I was happy to get it. Yeah, of course. Like, it was able to clear up space in my heart to... Oh my God! I'd laugh if he was sleeping under a bridge because I would have if he didn't apologize. Okay, he could have been eating a can of beanie weenies over an open flame, and I would not have felt any remorse because this guy said I wasn't there when my father died. Yeah. This guy called my father. Oh, I, okay. I don't even want to talk about it because it gets under my skin and makes me emotional, especially because my father's like anniversary of his death is coming up. Yeah. Okay. It really upsets me, but he apologized, and we hugged. Mm -hmm. and, and he said he thought... loved me and he told Bridget he just wants his baby girl back and we were like wow this guy's changed I guess not no definitely not so I sent him uh, $1,400 on cash app she sent the guy $1,500 and we found a room for him want to guess what happened next oh you guys are ready for this the <clears throat> next morning Bridget gets a message from her father, and he is angry. Yeah, he is. He's furious. He is furious at us because all we did was lie. Air quote, because we lied about absolutely nothing. He said we lied about the video that we uploaded, even though he watched it with us. And was like, yeah, I get it, you know, because he has been a piece of crap. And he even acknowledged that. He told us he understood. He told us that he was sorry. He told us he understood why we made it. And he doesn't care. He just wants oh. to make things right. He watched the video. 
And then he's mad because I said it makes him look like a liar. But he was. He was lying in the video. Yeah. He never showed up to our house that we hit from him. And I think this is pretty much evidence of that. He was like, you made me look like a liar and you made me look bad. But you are. And we tried to talk to him. I started texting him and I was like, Doug, listen, we watched the video together. Please don't lose sight of what we wanted to do because what we were going to do was go to the hotel we got him and do a Tina style confrontation yeah. the right way where it's not mean and it's not evil. And I'm not saying things that I'm going to regret. I can and believe this can part the air the right way. And then at the end, he'll finally be able to meet his grandchildren. Yeah. OK, you know, what? I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and pause right now because maybe I kind of believe that right there. You know, it almost kind of sounds like reasonable almost sounds like you know the same lazy ass bullshit you know what i'm saying that michael pulls you know just like angry grandpa breaking a tv every fucking super bowl destroying a christmas tree every holiday you know what i mean let's do a tina style confrontation you know let's go ahead and make a little storyline out of it and then that's Dougie's introduction back into back into the fold, right? I can I guess I I I can I can believe that, you know, because I'll tell you what, it was I can almost kind of relate in a way, you know what I mean, in which he paid for the hotel room for me after I hit Bridget. If you all would remember, he he bought me a hotel room for like 2 weeks, paid for like 2 weeks in the hotel after I hit Bridget. No fucking way, first off. Uh, if I had hit her, would he had fucking paid for a hotel room? But he did. Uh, um, and we were going to try and work things out, but I ended up getting fucking wasted and talking shit, and it just further escalated in the opposite direction. So, I can see, I can actually see that happening. Dougie getting there to the hotel... And who knows, man, maybe he had him a little bit of drink, man. Maybe he had one too many painkillers or some shit. You know, maybe he got, maybe he, now that he was close and he was back in, you know, to possibly, you know, uh, uh, reconnecting or whatever, maybe his, his emotions were flowing a little bit, you know, and maybe he didn't necessarily want to, you know, prostrate himself in the, in the fashion and style that Michael wants him to do. You know, so it all got confrontational again. Sounds like to me. Joe Hip, what do you got here? Says all everybody has to really think about how much did Bridget's dad spend on Bridget when she was a child? I think it's about time she did the same for her dad. I don't know. Nebzy, thank you so much, says, Charlie, didn't you say Bridget tried it on with you? Did she try it? <laughs> Did Bridget try to get it on with me? I don't think I remember that. No. If I did say, I don't, if I did say that, it was probably back in a drunken state. <laughs> you know what I mean? Just for like a uh, trigger effect or whatever. Um, nah, Bridget's mom. Bridget's mom uh, got a little fresh with me one time in which, you know, I was staying in the pool house and she went out to the pool and was laying out in her damn bathing suit and uh, asked me if I wanted to go swimming. <laughs> I came out and I was like, hey, that's nice. And she's like, yeah, you should go swimming. Put some shorts on. And I was like, hey, okay, I'm all right. I swear. <laughs> Facts, you know. But hey, man, I'm a good-looking guy, bro. I should have been jumping at the bit. Just imagine if I did that. I'd tell Bridget right now. I'm like, I fucked your mom. <laughs> I don't know if that'd be good or bad, dude. It'd probably be a diss on me. Never met his grandchildren. He has two grandkids that he's never met. Listen to Michael. Still... Listen to Michael. He's trying to. He's got two grandkids. He's never met. Listen. 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 List
restore, 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 Michael, if you gave a fuck, you wouldn't be dragged, you wouldn't have dragged it on this fucking long over such petty ass fucking bullshit to which you started. That you started. And whom you uh, 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 egged on daily with your fucking slob mob. Going after Doug on a daily fucking basis. Picking and poking and prodding and talking shit. And Doug ain't supposed to say nothing back. And like I say, you know, like, shit gets said. You know what I mean? Like, you know, I mean, shit gets said in the heat of the moment. People are pissed. <laughs> Online, offline. And, I mean, you either stand behind your statements or you apologize for them and you try to move on. You try to repair. And I really got to say, you know, that it's it's even it's even more important in Michael's case. You know what I mean? In which he, you know, he says, oh, I'm not standing in the way at all of between you and your father, you know, except for the fact that, you know, this he, it's, he's putting all their shit on his channel, kid behind a the camera. These are his videos to which he's the narrator. Just like he had nothing to do with mom and dad getting divorced. Back in the early days of angry grandpa. Whenever mom and dad were going through their shit. And Michael sat there with a fucking Sony camera. Recording all of it. Dad's meltdowns, his verbal attacks on mom. Mom's fucking deterioration and the uh, loneliness and self-loathing. In which she would get packed up and move to damn New York City or New York to go live with her fucking sister. While Michael and dad stayed at the house and continued to play their little angry grandpa games. Posting it online for mom to watch. Look, we're still down here having fun, mom. Keep your ass up there. The decline. Deterioration of mom and dad's uh, uh, 30 plus year relationship. All captured on, on, on camera and posted to the internet for a couple of dollars and for some followers. You know, and here we are, 2022. Michael's still doing the same fucking thing. You want to talk about someone who hasn't changed, someone who hasn't grown. Michael loves to talk about, oh, they haven't changed. Oh, they have truly changed. You don't know jack shit about change, Michael. You're the same lazy do-nothing that you always have been. You probably still shit your pants. They say keep watching. Good fucking God, really? All right, hold on. Let me take a piss real quick. Ha! Holy shit! All right. <laughs> the hipsters keep coming with this motherfucker. I swear to God. All right. Oh, my God. Oh, where's my drinky? Hold on. My drinky, too. 
Let me get my drink and my cig. All right. All right. <laughs> Dougie, Dougie's over here making me cough on myself. Says Michael does shit his pants. He has to wear Depends. The box that I supposedly stole was his shipment of Depends. <laughs> oh, man. That's funny. All right, so let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and end this shit show. Holy fuck. Denies that he still swears to God he came into the hospital dressed like a doctor. And I, I really, I just. I know, like, I, I can't even, like, he is defending it to his grave. That he snuck in the hospital wearing scrubs because his nurse friend gave it to him. Which is a felony, by the way. And just not true. <laughs> God, it's weird. It's the weirdest. He couldn't admit that either at the confrontation. Well, so guess what he did next? He went live about us again. Yeah. I've seen the kids. Met the kids. Michael didn't like it when I said, yeah. I've met this one twice now. Met that one once. They put enough money for me to stay here for two weeks into my cash app. When I got here to check in, evidently they decided to go back through their bank and pull half of it back out. Oh my God. Okay, you guys, this is his cash app. First, she sent 900. Then she sent him another 400. Oh shit. What's this, Dougie? Dougie, here he goes. Dougie says, and another thing, they kept bringing Charlie up in the incident about the black eye, and I told him that will never change. I will never, ever lie about that situation to anyone. Well, damn, I appreciate it, man. You know, and I got to be honest with you, Dougie, like at this point, there really is no reason, you know, for you to recant, you know, because quite honestly, you know, it, it would do nothing to help your credibility whatsoever like everybody pretty much knows the truth by now you know what i mean what happened that night you done came forward if you were to if you were to come out for michael and michael listen to this too i can't believe you don't fucking realize this if dougie were to come out after now that dougie's pretty much being forced to uh, uh follow suit to get back into y'all's lives if y'all were to uh, uh cohere dougie into recanting his statement and saying charlie did hit bridget actually do you know how bad that would make y'all look? Do you really think that everybody would just be like, oh, okay, well, Dougie finally admitted that it was true. We're going to believe it. Do you really think that that's going to, how that's going to play out? Or do you think people are going to be like, come on, Michael, really? Come on, Dougie, really? That's how delusional. Michael is, and he thinks that he can really just go ahead and have Dougie say that after all these years and after all the shit that they've gone through, and that everybody's going to be like, oh, yeah, okay, back to Michael's side. Uh-uh, sorry, Michael. The shit's already hit the fan, and it's all over the walls, man. Now, that says, replied with a heart. But for some reason, you're so angry at your daughter that you decide to lie and say she took the money back when I just proved that she never did. Oh, my God. I don't even, like, think Cash App has that. Why would we even do that? I know. It's just more. We had a good conversation. <laughs> there was apologies. There were tears, hugs. I shook your hand when you walked out of our house. Upward, which is a free Christian data. But, Michael, you got, we got to you gotta understand, Michael is that a handshake from you means jack shit. I mean, a handshake is only as good as the fucking person that it coming from. And bro, I got to tell you, you are not a very upstanding, respectable man. That your word to me means jack shit. That if you told me it was raining outside, that I'd have to go look.
But besides that, man, you know, but to get really on the subject of that right there, you know, is that, you know, you can't sit there and just, you know, have good conversations and then come back with little jabs and shit and then not expect the motherfucker to say anything back. Then again, I don't, and I don't know. Like I say, you know, like, you know, okay, now, actually, you know what it really is, Michael? What it really fucking is, is that there's really no bonding there. Is that you're still trying to get Dougie to say that I hit Bridget. You're still trying to get Dougie to admit to all this other bullshit that you want to hang around his neck. That there is really no real progress being made. So that whenever he flips like that, you know what I mean? It wasn't that hard of a flip. It wasn't that hard of a switch because he was never really on your side anyway because that repair, that, that bridge for repair was never really, uh, had never really begun in the first place. You know, you try to shoehorn and wedge your own fucking bullshit, your own narrative, your own lies. You want everybody to play by your shit, your story. And expect it to be real. You know, like, you know, people get tired of your shit. This is, you know, this world, it's not fucking Michael's world. You know what I mean? This ain't Mikey's world, bro. You've been living in Mikey's world for far too fucking long, man. You need to you need to understand that this man we are all people there's there, there are billions of people in this fucking world you know what I'm saying and every single one of them are just as important as you are man And for you to sit here and live with this fucking mentality like you're holier than thou that that you're better than everybody else that you can just fucking create another man's reality and expect him to abide by that and it be real don't you know that's how kingdoms have become a, have been overthrown? Royal throats have been cut. Dictators have been burned. Because of the same shit that you fucking pull on your own family and friends, dude. Fuck a, a, a stranger on the internet. Damn. <sighs> Nebzy says, do you think Mike still plays with his toys? Eh, probably. Probably. I don't see where he's grown up any, man. So, man, and I've got something, I've got something for real for Mike, but I'm going to hold off on that. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Corbin Batson says that's why there's a thing called discipline, but it hasn't come to Michael yet. There is zero uh, discipline with Michael. How many times now has he cried about his weight and he's going to lose the weight and he's going to get the operation? And you know, he's in worse shape ever. Michael is in the worst shape of his fucking life. Well, I'm in the best shape. Dude, I'm fucking, I'm getting fit. I was doing my damn curls yesterday. I mean, I'm getting fucking muscles and shit, bro. Oh, man. I'm going to show y'all. In a couple of months, bro, I'm going to whip off my shirt and show y'all some fucking muscles. Ha ha. And part of me, part of me is getting fit. Uh, 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 I guess, you know, in spite of Michael. 
How do I look, guys? Do I look good? Better than I have in years. I look back. Look at that. We are brothers, and you couldn't even tell, huh? Hold on. Let me do his face. Hold on. Let me get the hat right. <laughs> yeah. Doing what Michael can't do. What Michael has ha, has uh, fantasized about. What he has clickbaited y'all about for years. I've done it. Here I am, Michael. And I'm here to show you, Michael. Man, you know, and I was and I was actually trying to feel. I was actually feeling a little sentimental towards Michael. Honestly, like a couple of days ago, you know what I'm saying? It's the holidays and shit, you know what I mean? And 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 I was, you know, thinking about family and shit like that, you know? And and like thinking about how how I would send Michael a shirt that reminded me of him and how it wouldn't fit him, but I would tell him that I believed in him and blah fucking blah blah blah. But you know what, man? Michael doesn't deserve, you know, a a, a brother like me. He doesn't deserve the fucking uh, a, a genuine friend, someone who really cares and is concerned for him. Because then he might actually have a little cliff in which to uh, cling on to and pull himself up. And I'd rather Michael stay down where he is. Blah, blah, blah. Really? Yeah. That's your shit. Can you believe everything is online? I wish you would talk. I feel like every time, every time Bridget feels like she wants to talk to you, she'll get a live stream clip and talk to you. Same old shit. Can you believe everything is on live stream, don't you? Well, you're saying you're it. You're talking you're, it. You're the one saying it. It's not like some fake dog. It's you. No, it's fake. It's you. <laughs> There's not two dogs. Sure is. It's your face. No, it ain't. Speaking. What's the point of this many lies? He tried to say that my brother's getting married and that we said that it wasn't true? What? I don't even care. Like, who cares, dude? The guy can't stop lying. Here's the only conversation we had about that wedding. I don't know if it's before or after his wedding. Okay. What? What? Well, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. The conversation we had about that wedding. I don't know if it's before or after his wedding. What were they talking about, Dougie? What? You don't know if what was before or after my wedding. Are y'all, or you're talking about something else about me? Listen, listen to this. Listen to the way that this is said. I don't know if it's before or after his wedding. I don't know if it's before or after his wedding. Okay. Now he's heading around the. What? He's wanting to come down and try to straighten things out with Mike. It's too. It's hard. Yeah. I'm saying. And it's hard to believe. Not YouTube. I'm saying brother to brother. It's too late. I don't understand the purpose of lying this many times if you're trying to work things out with your daughter. Is it that you just don't care? He just needs money. Is that all it is, dude? It's so crazy. It's like... And tears. I know. It's wild. Yeah. Keep allowing him... To... I'm so sorry, but the camera in his face. <laughs> oh, my God. Look at that yeah. shit. Pathetic. Yeah. I was afraid to answer the door. When you knocked, he moved on. And, and all right. So it seems like they were trying to juice... Oh, before... Okay. Okay. That I was going to come down and try to set things right with Michael before the wedding so that I could in invite Michael to the wedding. Why the fuck on earth would I do that? Michael has been nothing but a negative force in my life. Which, like I said, I was going to send him a shirt and shit, but by no means was that going to be an offering to invite the fucker to my wedding. Really? Stop it, bro. Michael only wishes that I would fucking bow down to him and try to get things right because then he would really be making the motherfucking money.
But guess what? It ain't fucking happening, bro. I, I've got too many good people in my life to, to introduce them to Michael. And let me tell you what. Another thing, bro. Fucking Erica's family cannot stand Michael. And I really don't see Erica's stepdad, you know, after everything that Michael has put Erica through. Fuck what happened to me. Everything that Michael's put Erica through. I really don't see Michael being welcomed with open arms by her family. I wouldn't put them through that uh, uh, awkwardness. And then, you know, Michael would be all fucking awkward and try to make it about himself. He'd be like Michael Scott from The Office. Oh, get me with some wedding cake. Ladies and gentlemen, for the first time ever, Mr. and Mrs. Charlie Green. Mr. and Mrs. Bob Vance. You know, he'd be in a, he'd be in a fucking embarrassment. Look what he's done fucking to Bridget and her father. And their relationship. And the three ring circus that we have all just uh, 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 partaken and bear witness to. Front door wide open. Mike's dirty ass draws all in the wind. <clears throat> you know like I said you know like like Michael says you know like it is over like there really I mean there really is no reason to uh, uh, re you know rekindle anything because honestly like you know what good would it do me Honestly, like, what good could, could could possibly come out of me bringing Michael back into my life? What good has it done, Dougie? What good has it done, Tuna? What good has it done, Jennifer? Kimberly? The only good that is done is for Michael. Hell, even my mom, still riding a goddamn bus to work, living with her fucking brother. You know? I'm doing just fine without my side of the family involved in my life. You saw what happened the last time that I tried to help out the family, right? I brought JC into the house. Tried to help him get a job and go to Job Corps. And what happened? Michael coheres the ki oh, kid. Coheres the guy, my nephew. Coheres JC into giving up where I work. You know? I freaking damn took my mom and the boys out uh, on a vacation to Edisto Island. What happens? Michael uh, fakes a video and makes Johnny accuse me of giving him drugs. Which I was happy that he did too because everyone saw that video and was like, you're a liar, Mike. That was That was like the first crack in the armor for Mike, I really believe. Is whenever he did that video and had Johnny accuse me of giving him drugs. And everybody knew it was a fucking lie. The police was supposedly called. DSS was supposedly involved. Nothing happened. They tried to stir up as much shit as they could and tried to get it to go for as long as it could, but it didn't go anywhere. And then so they deleted the video. Uh, let me take a piss real quick. Oh, my God.
But, all right. So, but yeah, you know, it's, is it, you know, yeah, it's true. You know, um, I was, I was, I was thinking about his ass, you know, and felt a little sentimental and shit, you know what I mean? And, and, and I, and every now and again, you know, uh, I, I will get that way or whatever, you know what I mean? Because family and shit, you know, and because I don't have a heart of ice, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm not a manipulative, you know, fucker, you know what I mean? Uh, that has to control everyone in my world, you know, with lies and uh, money and uh, other, whatever other means of control, you know, um, shit. <laughs> what was I saying? Fuck. Just lost it. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Then I, yeah. Then I get sentimental, you know what I mean? Uh but I got to remember, man, you know, videos like this today, you know, instances like this today, you know, when Dougie has been laid upon the cross, you know what I mean? Uh, uh, he's a very stark reminder, you know what I mean, of, of just where Michael is in, in life and where where he is mentally, you know, and emotionally, you know, and just what all you'll have to do. You know what I mean? In order to repair any sort of relationships, you know, with with him. You know what I mean? Uh, uh, and um, and I, you know, I don't see myself ever doing that. You know, I don't ever see myself succumbing to his bullshit. You know, to his lies, his narrative. Uh, um, uh, uh. It's toxic. I mean, you know, all that. I don't know. Just all that bullshit, you know what I mean, that, you know, that has gone down, you know what I mean? Uh, I don't know. It's like, I don't know. I don't know. Like, like, hmm. So I guess it's, 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 it's difficult to say, man. You know, it's like, like, yeah, you can love somebody, you know what I mean? But you just got to go. You just got to move. You just got to stay away from them. You know what I mean? Honestly, man. Because you know that they are no good for you. You know, and I feel really bad for for Dougie, man, because it's like he has nobody. I don't, I don't, I don't mean to say that in a negative way or anything, Dougie, but I mean, you know, you're down there in South Carolina all by your fucking self. You know what I mean? And here you have Michael and Bridget that are like, we'll bring you back in and we'll have a relationship. But this, that, and the third, you know. And, and yeah, I mean, I, I don't know who else you got down there. You know, oh shit. So I don't know. It's a it's a real eye opener, honestly. You know, just to show you just how splintered, you know, that side of the family is. Honestly, you know, just how. Uh, how dark, you know, Michael can get, still get, you know what I mean? Like, or, you know, and, and, and honestly, like, did we expect any different? You know what I mean? Like I say, he's been living in his bubble, you know, for 10 plus years, you know what I mean? And, uh, uh, I mean, there's been no incentive for growth and change, you know what I mean? So, uh, you know, yeah, you can only assume that he's gotten worse, you know. So, yeah. Double N says, Charlie, do you still love Michael? Like, yeah, man, of course I still love Michael. He's my brother. I'll always love him and shit, you know what I'm saying? But, I mean, you know, with that love comes anger, man. You know what I mean? And fucking, I hate his ass right now, dude. 
I fucking hate him. Like I said, if Michael were to show up at my doorstep right now, I'd draw blood. I swear to God, I would. I would I would send him home with something that uh that you know what I'm saying that I don't know. I don't want to say too far. I don't want to incriminate myself or no shit like that. You know what I mean? Um, we all saw what happened last time. You know what I mean? When when I threatened Michael, you know, threatened to kill or whatever. Even though I went to the hot, even though I well the the even though the police came up and didn't take me to jail. So apparently I didn't commit a crime. But Michael did feel threatened nonetheless. He was scared. But then again, man, I was drunk out of my fucking mind. I was pushed to the limits. I really had nowhere else to go. Back then in 2017, 2018, man. Like, who knows what I would have done, man. I really was. In a dark place though those days, you know, and it was and it was because Michael had pushed me there. Honestly, you know, it's because every fucking day I woke up, it was always something new. It was always a new fucking fire, a new bomb, a new betrayal. You know what I mean? And it was all at the hands of my brother. It was all because of fucking Michael and his and and his his infatuation with destroying me dude with fucking uh 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 uh, you know hurting me like in a very real emotional uh way you know taking away my livelihood man uh uh my friends and shit you know what i'm saying like it was very very real and man and and michael enjoyed it Like, I mean, he was freaking like, he I mean, did he not? Like, Michael, Michael finds pain, Michael finds true joy and, and, and personal pain. Bobby Ricky says, Charlie, listen at 1046. I think I, I thought I did. I'll, I'll, I'll go back now. We wanted to make sure he couldn't do that again. Definitely. And we got a lot of weird stuff. Yeah, there's yeah, there's some weird stuff in there. Like for some reason, Dunn kept making these jokes about Bridget and like her dying. Yeah. Right? Like, I'm gonna bury her up to her neck. Or I'm gonna throw her to the swamp to some gators. <laughs> and it's like, why are you making these jokes? And before he tries to deny that he did it, here's one of them on video. He's a liberal. I'll so. bury you in the backyard. Yeah, I went out today. I'll bury in the big hole down there, dead or stuff. Uh-huh. See how deep it was. I might want to drown you. Huh. I'm going to swing. Oh my God. Now they're trying, they're trying to damn paint Doug as like being a murderer or something. Oh my God. Michael, Bridget, y'all are two pigs in a pod. I mean, peas in a pod. Y'all deserve each other. And. Y'all are super fucking cringy, dude. Y'all are the height of YouTuber. You know how YouTuber used to be a cool thing? It used to be kind of cool to be a YouTuber. Now you think a YouTuber and you think a cringy, clickbaity, do anything for a view, uh, uh, no self-awareness, or, or uh, 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 I don't know. That, that's Michael and Bridget, man. Ugh. Yeah. Fuck. So, I don't know. That's crazy. Hey, look, Dago got monetized. Hey, much love to Dago, man. Making some money on YouTube finally. Congratulations, homie. It's nice to get a little side scratch, huh? Hell yeah, man. I appreciate all that y'all give us, man. And uh, like I say, every, uh, we're going to be putting it all towards uh, the wedding. I think we got like 260 bucks right now towards the wedding, dude. And uh, El Mosa, that's thanks to my homie David, dude. Thank you, David. You were the man. We love you. And uh, yeah, man, we appreciate all of you, man. 
you know, for everything that you do for us, not just the money wise, you know, but, you know, the support, you know what I mean? Uh, because that burns Michael's ass more than anything. You know what I mean? To see 190, we had, we had 250 plus watching, uh, in the earlier live stream and shit, you know, and, uh, and Michael hates that, you know, er, you know, er, even one, you know, is watching and listening and uh, agreeing. You know what I mean? So I appreciate that, man. Uh, 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 that, you know, means means almost more than anything. What was that? Hold on a second. Sort by newest. Okay, never mind. I was about to say, who the hell just sent me a damn friend request with over a thousand followers? But that was something else. So, uh, yeah, man. All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and end it here, man. We shall wait and see what's going to happen. Dougie, man, I hate it for you. Man, I don't know. I got a place, you know, I got a place, man. You can come stay, man. I can help you out, you know what I mean, if damn... You ain't got nowhere to go, huh, Erica? <laughs> I'm like, huh, oh, Erica? I had to ask Erica. I think we had talked about it before. You know what I mean? Um, but Dougie just, you know, he he said no. You know, so like honestly though, man, if you if you find yourself fucking sleeping in your truck or some shit like that, you know what I mean? Let me know, dude, and uh, and we'll help you out the best we can, man. You know because. You know, it, like it, it sucks, you know, not having, you know, I don't, not having anybody, man. I know exactly how it is, dude. And, and to, and to, uh, you know, feel forced to play Michael's game. You know what I mean? And to, and to lose, you know, because of Michael's game. You know what I mean? Um, and and yeah, you know, I sympathize for you now, and I'll help you out any way I can. You know what I mean? Just let me know, dude, and uh, and I will and I will do my best. You know what I mean? Whether that's uh, whatever, you know. So until next time, guys. Until we see what Michael has next. You know what I mean? For us to uh, critique. You know. Um, I think we're going out tomorrow. We might do us a little vlogging or something. Um, maybe some Christmas vlogging or something like that, man. There's some, there's some, uh, some neat little, uh, country towns around the area. They got Christmas lights up and decorations and stuff. And we got to do a little shopping for some friends and stuff. And, uh, uh, yeah, thought about busting out the old camera and vlogging while we're doing it. So, um yeah hopefully we'll have a couple of videos for you this week and uh yeah we'll connect uh, uh connect that way until the next uh, uh live stream so thank you all adam ritter dago have a great night man congratulations on the monetization miss chrissy Corey phillips man thank you for the cards man we love all uh thank you guys for supporting and following man i love you guys for all everything you've done for me man and, uh, um, uh, uh, yeah, all that shit. <laughs> I feel like I'm fucking kind of getting fuzzy brain, man. I've been on for a while. Uh, and I've been working all week. I'm tired. Tired and drinking bangs, man. It's weird. It's a weird sensation. It's like I'm speedballing or some weird shit, man. Tired and not tired. Uh, we'll be like Biggie Smalls, man. Got the one eye on one. When I, I all right, I love you guys. Have a great night. I'll talk to y'all later. Peace out. Bye. <laughs> oh my God.